Ha! Rookie of the Year? That's a joke, right? They haven't even won a music show. It was rigged. They probably have connections on the inside. Sunny has some nerve showing her face after that scandal. Her and Gia are a little chubby too. Sunny has had way too much surgery, it's unnatural. Is anyone else anti-INTL? Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel depending on when you're watching this video. Today we are back with another episode of my towny adventure series in my Korea save file and we are still following the lives of our K-pop idol rookies. INTL. So the first schedule we'll be doing today is filming the very first episode of our group variety show, which we are calling True TV. On this episode, the girls will be doing a cooking challenge against each other. And mind you, none of these girls have any cooking skills to speak of, so this should be an interesting episode. Jisoo will be acting as our judge for today. She's sitting here in the middle, ready to decide whose dish tastes the best. We're gonna talk about baking bread. <laughs> Jisoo's cooking experience goes way back to her time in Italy with her mom. They would make bread together and pizza and pasta and stuff. So she's considered herself kind of a connoisseur of fine dining. Jinju says, I'm also a connoisseur of fine dining on account of I like to eat. Sunny says she doesn't know how to cook at all and Soman agrees she says yeah I know I've tasted your cooking back at the dorm and it's kind of tragic she's like yeah. we're gonna have team white start us off and we're gonna cook together with Soman we are going to make bibimbap so bibimbap is a Korean dish with warm rice um, topped with vegetables, egg, red pepper paste. It's not particularly difficult to make, but it could be made in a lot of ways, so I'm interested to see how the girls do. This is a recipe pack, by the way, by the modder named Oni. They actually make a lot of Korean food. For the yellow team, we're gonna have them cook a few things. First thing is going to be topoki. Topoki is basically just wheat rice cake um, with optional fish cake thrown in there with vegetables and red pepper paste gochujang it's really delicious it's spicy sometimes but it can also be like a little bit sweet highly recommend 10 out of 10 Mwah! chef's kiss and then for Gia she's going to come cook some chapagetti it's basically kind of as the name implies sort of like spaghetti but with jajangmyeon sauce she is gonna grab the ingredients from the fridge the first dish is beginning jia has put the ingredients in the pot and she's mixing 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 oh that's embarrassing <laughs> sunny's expert knife skills she is chopping the anchovies what bro what are you talking about man I mean, anchovies, asparagus, asparagus. <laughs> Meanwhile, Soman is, oh, okay. <laughs> we saw that. Everybody saw that, Soman. <laughs> Look at that smug face. I think the first dish is ready to be served. Oof. Jesus, she's just like, girl, I know you lying. <laughs> she fears for her life. Okay. Look at the flick of the wrist, as expected from an expert dancer. Look at her, she's so confident, as she should be queen, with a little bit of seasoning. Okay, Salt Bay. period. <laughs> um, Sunny, you don't seem particularly confident. <laughs> Jisoo is equally unconfident. <laughs> Meanwhile, so many, so much just like, just, just keep smiling, just keep rolling the dough, don't even, <laughs> nothing wrong. <laughs> Jinju is ready to start cooking the tuk. Ooh, that tteokbokki is coming together so nicely. That looks delicious. The girls are deliberating. They're like, wait, wait, they have two dishes. Do you think maybe we should do another dish really quick? I mean, there's still some time left on the clock. I think they can. We're gonna make a fun dessert. Daigona. Daigona is that sweet candy thing. It was in the movie Squid Game on Netflix. Hey, it's pretty simple. So it's just sugar 
and water, I believe. I don't know if there's another ingredient. <laughs> Actually, let me Google that. Baking soda! I got baking soda! Wow, need I say more? They even included a Squid Game reference. Extra points for flair. <laughs> These two are so irritated because they're just like, are you serious, Dargona? That's literally one of Jisoo's favorite foods. Like, that's not fair, that's cheating. And she's just like, oh, was it? Hmm, that's such a coincidence. Who would have known? Look at that spread. So delicious. Doesn't that make you hungry? So first we have bibimbap and taigona by the white team and then we have topoki and chapagetti by the yellow team so jisoo it's up to you to decide now which dish tastes the best first is the topoki hmm pretty interesting flavor profile uh five out of five up next she's gonna try the chapagetti so let's see how this tastes hmm they tried, but the jajangmyeon sauce is a little bit bitter, so this one's gonna be a three out of five. Summons that double. This is war, Sunny. We have to win. We have to beat them. We're gonna beat them. <laughs> they want war, they can have a war, but we're definitely gonna be the victors here. <laughs> Next taste test will be the bibimbap. This is gonna definitely be a five out of five. Sunny, we might actually pull this off. It all comes down to this, you guys. Will Jisoo give the Dagona a fair rating or will she let her love for the delicious treats swoo her and give the victory to the white team? Let's find out. <laughs> Two out of 10. Alameo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you guys managed to screw up Dagona, but you did it, so victory goes to the yellow team. I thought we were rating it out of 5, <laughs> why is it suddenly 2 out of 10? Because you messed up that badly. Just as expected, <laughs> you made a wonderful choice here, Jisoo. And that pretty much wraps up our cooking program for today. We're gonna give the leftovers to our wonderful production staff so they can have a lovely lunch. Right now, Sunny is auditioning for a drama. She is filming her audition tape in front of a panel of judges and we're gonna see how she does. Let's try a sad emotional breakdown. Let's try an angry emotional breakdown. And then let's try make a scene. So Sunny has finished the camera test for her audition and we're just gonna have to wait and hear back from the directors. Fingers crossed she gets the part. So we are backstage at one of our music show performances and we just got finished performing. The lights are off and we are missing a member in this picture and that member is So Min because today is her birthday, her 18th birthday, and the girls are going to surprise her with a little surprise cake when she gets done in the bathroom. This is such a precious picture. Cute, 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 cute. So now that Sunny has a teeny bit of free time, I'm gonna have her go ahead and just FaceTime her sister. They kind of have had a rough, like rocky patch and I will get way deeper into that whole dynamic in my other Let's Play series that is coming to my channel very, very soon. I'm backstage right now. I miss you. I miss mom. Tell mom I love her. And I know you're also going through some stuff right now, but I'm here for you and I love you and I miss you guys, okay? You will never believe what Sunny got so in as an 18th birthday present. She got her BTS tickets. Are you kidding me? Sunny, you are officially the bestest friend in the entire world. You 
were behind that surprise party for me, weren't you? You were literally the bestest person ever. And through the boat, as pop music, this is a dream. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, y'all, the concert's about to start. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> really quick, really quick, let's take a selfie, let's take a selfie. Eee! Guys, look, the concert's starting. We are all the way in the back. We need to fix that immediately. Bye, bye, excuse me. <laughs> so men, they're pushing, they're shoving. These are the faces of happy girls. Are you waving at Tayan? Oh my gosh, she went back! Announce birthday, announce birthday. Oh no, they're singing, yeah! <laughs> Ask for a selfie. Oh my gosh, Tayan is actually taking a selfie with our phone. It's midnight, and as much as I would love to have the girls stay and just look at BTS forever, unfortunately, they do have schedules in the morning. Now that the concert has ended, it's still midnight, and the girls didn't want to end their night just yet. So, Kang Kazang Min has taken them to Itaewon, and we are going to a very, very famous Jimjibang. A Jimjibang is a Korean bathhouse. It's kind of like a public bath. Um, it sort of functions as a spa as well. So I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. So this is the Dragon Hill Chimchilbang in Itaewon. And the girls will be staying here for the night because that's one of the things you can do at a Chimchilbang. You get to sleep overnight. So the first thing we're going to do before we head on inside is I'm going to have Kang Kazang Nim go ahead and get us a pass to go inside. So, Chinchilbang pass. And then we're going to add Sunny and Soman. So, they have their passes as well and we are ready to go inside. We are walking into the Chinchilbang. This is the entrance. Super pretty. Isn't this just already such a calming and relaxing atmosphere? We have now checked in and we are ready to go and enjoy the Jimshilbang. So this is where you would stop and take off your shoes and put on your slippers uh, because outside shoes aren't allowed. Then the elevator will take you here into the changing room. Usually in a Jimjilbang, people walk around without any clothes on. We won't be doing that today for obvious reasons. I'm gonna have them change into a towel. First step before we go into the bathhouse is usually to take a shower. It's good manners because you don't want to be sitting in a bath with a lot of other people and like you're dirty and like dirty bath water like that's kind of gross while they're taking a shower i'm gonna give a small little tour of the rest of the bathhouse so right here is the toddler potty area and then we have the towel station 
Then over here are little small baths for toddlers. So gym show bags are kind of like a family activity as well. So all ages are welcome. This is the bathhouse. There are many little pools and tubs. This is the perfect opportunity for some feminine bonding time. <laughs> Oh, they're splashing each other. It's 4.21 a.m. and the girls are pretty sleepy. So, Soman and Sunny looked this up online and they've always wanted to try it. Um, so they're gonna go into these rooms and here we have sensory deprivation tanks. Control panel, purchase, enhanced emotion deprivation chamber. Ooh. Ooh. To get to breakfast, you have to go through this little children's play area, and then you step up here, and this is the little restaurant. We should have croissants, so we're gonna get two croissants, and now the girls are sitting down to breakfast. You can borrow a camera and then take a picture and leave it on the wall. Let's make three copies. There they are. A picture of them to commemorate them coming here. This is one of the sand healing rooms. This you can meditate in here as well. This is the hot room. Then the cool room, which is self-explanatory. Ah, nice and relaxing. In the meantime, Kwa Jang Nim has found her way into the sauna. <laughs> So we're here in Kyonggi because the girls have an ad shoot to do for a brand called Pokari Sweet. It's a beverage company. Ready girls? Hana, do set. 20 minutes later. The next schedule we're doing is a fundraiser. We are assisting in a charity bake sale. The girls are cooking and baking goods that will be put on sale and all of the proceeds will go to the charity. Jisoo, why don't you go ahead and greet the customers and explain the cost to them. She's a fan, she's wearing her merch, so of course we're also going to go ahead and take a selfie with her. Oh, Yue is here. Yue is a social worker, so she deals with troubled youths all the time. Please he'll answer her questions about the cause. We need more food, guys. Aww. <laughs> what was that little interaction? <laughs> so Min is congratulating the girls on a job well done. We really worked hard today to raise money. In total, we were able to raise $1,800 for the charity. We're going to match that number and we're going to double it. We are back in the dorms and Kwa Jung Nim is going to go over to her laptop and she is going to donate the money that we have made today so we're gonna donate a thousand simoleons to a couple of charities first of all is sos children's village that is a foundation that actually helped out one of the girls that we met in a previous episode her name is also jisoo she's a teen mom we're gonna donate to two more charities i think UNICEF would be a good one. And then Habitat for Humanity. Well, I think everyone's all plum tuckered out, so we're gonna end this episode here. Again, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. As always, if you want, please subscribe. It helps out the channel. Also, leave a like and a comment down below telling me what you thought of this one. There is a lot more content coming from me in the near future, so if you don't want to miss out, hit that bell icon to receive post notifications every single time I post a new video. Again, thank you guys so much. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!